when I am gone. Who cut the knees out of Grandpa's BVDs? What are BVDs, Roy? Oh, Ann, you wouldn't understand. It's just something us men folks wear. Oh, I drunk got up and married my Aunt Dora. Poor Aunt Dora. Oh, it's just a song. I'm glad. You know, Roy, after you asked me to marry you, I couldn't hardly escape a wink. Me neither. Funny, ain't it? Why do folks get married, Roy? Don't want to find no. Unless it's sort of like branding cattle. So everybody know who belongs to who. to be any too friendly. You don't have to. If this is a friendly call, Tasker, you're welcome. Why shouldn't it be friendly, Rogers? We can't get anywhere fighting each other. I'm glad you've come to realize that. Come on in. Sure, it's a friendly call. I came to tell you goodbye. Are you going somewhere, Tasker? You had a chance to admit that survey you made of the Upper Canyon was false. Well, I can't admit that. It's a lie. Why, well, I'd lose my land and the only water supply for miles around. Yeah. That's why I came to tell you goodbye. Turn toward the road, Brace. I don't need a witness to this. You got a witness after all. But it's a good thing he's too young to know what it's all about. Bring him along. How he was taking chances. so many questions, Jerry. Now, the next time we ride, you'll be left over the border. If you ask me, Tasker, I think you're crazy for letting that kid ride along on these shindigs. I didn't ask you. But he's liable to get hurt. He's a tough little monkey. Five years, and I'll be putting you in charge of these little parties. to sleep yourself if you don't tell me whether that train's going to be on time or not. Now, is it or ain't it? Wait a minute now, Gabby. Wait a minute. She's 
on time, Gabby. Right on the dot. Yeah, I see here. Know anything about the new boss coming in on the train? Yeah. Yeah. Thought he was a stranger. He is. Fool besides. You're it. What? Him. Who? Listen. Are ye or ain't ye the new owner of the Circle R Ranch? Mr. Roy Reynolds, if I read the name correct. I guess you're Gabby Whitaker, foreman of the Circle R. Yeah. Smart, ain't ye? Here, let me do that. I'm younger than you are. Is that so? By cracky, I'll bet you can't prove it. Come on, get in there. Get him! Get out of here! Huh. All dooted up, ain't she? You like these duds? No. Darn funny, that's all I gotta say. Funny? What's funny? Buying a ranch by me without ever seeing it. Don't make no sense at all. Anything wrong with the Circle R? Nope. One of the best ranches in the valley. Then it does make sense, doesn't it? Oh, get him! Promised to wait here for the Meredith. That is, if you ain't got no objections, Mr. Reynolds. Meredith. Live on the ranch next to mine, don't they? How do you know that? Thought you a stranger in these parts. I just heard they were my nearest neighbors. Told me you was from Wyoming, didn't you? I am. Funny they know so much from Wyoming about folks down here in Death Valley. What's the matter, Wyoming? Couldn't you make a living there? Sure, made a good living. Well, why didn't you stay there? I ain't saying right now. Maybe I thought I could make a better living down here, or maybe I've got another reason. Well, I wish you'd make up your mind. I know all about that, Meredith. But now I'm all worn out listening to your sad stories. They make me unhappy. I tell you, I haven't got the money, Mr. Tasker. I can't get it right now. No money, no water, and no protection. We've been paying for your protection for years. Well, so have a lot of folks, Miss Ann, and found it to their advantage. Then why can't you wait a little longer? Well, maybe I could, if you'd ask me real pretty. Please, Mr. Tasker. Consider that I'm waiting. Thank you, sir. Thank her. Little Ann, and she hasn't changed a bit. What's that? Nothing. The new owner of the Circle Iron? That's so. Kind of young, ain't he? Mm. Howdy, Mr. Reynolds. Welcome to Sundown. I'm Ed Tasker. Howdy, Mr. Tasker. This is Mr. Meredith. Miss Ann Meredith. Hello. I'm mighty interested in Death Valley folks, Mr. Reynolds. I'll be coming out to see you before long. Anytime, Mr. Tasker. Yeah. You should have got a nice, easy price on the Circle R, Mr. Reynolds. I did, I hope. Yeah. Didn't suspect why she was cheap, did you? Well, they said it wasn't paying. No. They won't pay another. No? No. Nope. Don't pay to make her pay. The more you make, the more you have to pay at Tasker for protection to keep your stock from being raided. By Tasker? Oh, certainly not. It's a band of raiders from across the border. Yeah, Mr. Tasker protects us from them. <laughs> Looks like that would be up to the law. There's a right for your word, son. The law. We got us a high sheriff, and he's got himself a whole squad room of deputies. The sheriff was elected by Ed Tasker, and the deputies are Tasker men. Please, child. Well, it's the truth, and everybody knows it. Yeah, but they don't dare say nothing about it. Brother Tasker controls every drop of water outside of sundown. Pretty picture, ain't it, son? <laughs> then I guess it's safer to go on paying for protection, isn't it? You always so eager for safety, Mr. Reynolds? Well, I try to be, Miss Ann. Now, a man who craves safety 
You sure picked out a funny place to light. Get up, Bill. Get up there. I may be dumb and all of that, but I still You are dumb, Brace. And all the years you've been with me don't seem to teach you any better. But I still don't see why we have to go jumping on young Reynolds right away. You promised to go see him. Well, I'm keeping that promise. That's Jerry. Let him in. Hello, Brace. Hello, Jerry. Howdy, Eclair. Are you early, Jerry? Never like to be late. It's bad luck. How about the boys? Rounded up and waiting. And spoiling for some fun. Including a trip across the border. And also including some piquilla and maybe some senoritas, Uncle Ed. That go for you too, Jerry? Just senoritas, Uncle Ed. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, poor old Brace here's got himself worked into a ladder. He can't understand why we're visiting the Reynolds outfit tonight. Nothing to puzzle about. Nothing to fret about. Uncle Ed believes in acting first and talking later. Folks pays more attention that way. Reynolds is giving a little shindig down at his place tonight. Sort of a get acquainted party. He wants to meet all his new neighbors. If I figure right, there won't be more than a couple of three of the Reynolds cowhands watching the outfit. Oh, I guess I am dumb. You and the boys got everything you need? Sure. You've been asking me that for years, Uncle Ed. Don't you know by now I never ride empty-handed? Don't ever let anybody put lead into you, Jerry. I'd miss you. Little drink before you ride? No, oh, thanks. Don't need it. Well, round up the boys and get started. Make a good job of it, Jerry. I'll be watching you. I need a drink. Go ahead. I'll join you. from that young buck without wanting to bust my sides. If Jerry was to ever guess that he was Tim Rogers. Wait a minute, boss. I didn't mean that. There's only two men in the world that know that. Maybe that's one too many. I'm telling you, boss, that's something that's gonna die with me. I know that, Brace. Gee, Ed, there for a minute, I, I thought maybe that See that you keep right on thinking after this. Think him up a new song. The stairs seem to like it. Gives me the creeps. Yeah, it always reminds me that everything is wrong in this old world. Nothing's right. Reckon they'll be having some new music up at the ranch house tonight. Waltzes and everything. Wish I was there. Sure like to dance. Start dancing, partner. I wouldn't do that. Get up and face the rocks.
Good work, Jerry. Anybody get hurt? Somebody always gets hurt. Well, get them across the border before sunup. Harkness is waiting for you. And hurry back, son. I may need you. for some of these young fellows to talk about fighting Tasker, but I'm too old for anything but peace, whatever it costs. Peace is fine when it can be had, but it's costing us too much. Why talk about it? That's all we've done for years. In a way, it don't seem to be bothering our new neighbor too much. And the sun slowly fades from view. Shadows on the prairie tonight Soon the moon will be in the blue Got my cattle safe in the old corral Got Don't you just love the new waltz, Mr. Gabby? No, ma'am, I don't. Now just look at that. Shadows on the prairie tonight. Oh, yes. Ain't they just too dear? No, ma'am, they ain't. They can call it waltzing if they want to, but if you ask me, it's just plain hugging in public. Oh, let you and me give it a twirl. Quit trying to make a fool out of me, Miss Minnie. Oh, come on, please, Mr. Gabby. Oh, all right. I ain't hugged a female for 30 years, but I reckon I ain't forgot hell. <laughs> Tonight, <laughs> there goes Gabby. In the blue, got my cattle safe in the old corral. Got a date to see my gal. Shadows on the prairie tonight. Tonight, all my dreams are coming Did you invite them here? I forgot to. I hope we're not intruding. Well, not at all, Mr. Tasker. Just dropped in to talk a little business. Well, if it's business, we'd better... It'll only take a minute. Everything's open and above board with me. Always has been. I guess you know that all the water on the Circle R comes from my property. You're being paid for it, aren't you? Naturally. But there's not enough water to go around. Some of the folks have to do with less than they need. Cutting my water supply? That depends. Now, the folks that owned this place before you had an arrangement with me. For protection. I see you've been talking to the folks. Now, if you want to go on with that protection deal, there's no reason why you should suffer for water. We might even arrange to increase your supply. That would mean some of the other ranchers would have to do with less, wouldn't it? Well, they'd have to make out the best way they could. But you look like a businessman. So am I. I'll think it over, Mr. Tasker, and let you know later. Fair enough. Thinking's caused a lot of trouble around here. Drop in to sundown when you have time and, uh... We've been raided. There ain't a steer left in the south herd. Parsons got a bad shoulder wound. I left Chet with him. Are you hurt much, Ben? Put him to bed, Gavin. Go after Chet and Parsons. I was aiming to. I'm sorry about this, Reynolds. It looks like I got here a little too late. I wish I could have talked to you sooner, Mr. Tasker. The cattle just about means a man's life in these parts, and I reckon I'm mighty fond of living. For a stranger around here, you're a mighty smart young fella. Drop into my office tomorrow morning where we can talk terms. Women just naturally don't understand business, eh, Reynolds? I guess you're right, Mr. Tasker. Night, Miss Ann. Go on, Brace. Good 
evening, folks. I have to be going, Mr. Reynolds. Good night. It is getting late. We must be going. Good night. Good night, Roy. We had a nice time. Is it worth it, Roy? Worth it? Isn't your self-respect too great a price to pay for Tasker's security? Well, I only aim to stay with the other ranchers. Uh, your grandfather... Grandfather. He's an old man. He's too tired to fight anymore. If he were your age... What about the other ranchers? Wilson and Phillips, they're all paying Tasker's price. They have to pay, don't you see? They've got families, wives and children. They can't fight. You're young and strong. You have nothing to hold you back. No one. Hen, you're right. I am a doggie without a brand so far. I've been kind of saving myself up to now in case that someday that... Well, you'd hate seeing me stop one of Tasker's bullets, wouldn't you? Well, you must understand. If you were fighting Tasker, I'd probably try to stop you. But I'd be proud of you. You must see. They need a leader, someone with strength and courage. But why me? I'm a newcomer here, and but I... But you're the only one. Our only hope. Oh, if only. Only what, Anne? Oh, Marsh. What is it, Gabby? Well, it's like this, boss, uh, Mr. Reynolds. Death Valley's got a rotten smell to her here lately. Me and the boys figured we'd best be moving on to green pastures. Not only sundown, but the whole Dagnab Valley stinks like Tasker, Mr. Reynolds. We ain't had no pay in nigh on to three months. That's the dying truth. No money and no credit for drinking whiskey. Let Tasker have Death Valley. We're through. Kind of bucking and kicking before a fella gets the feel of the saddle, ain't you, boys? Figure you can't wait and give me a chance to make the circle or make a living for us, huh? It ain't only the back pay. We've been hanging around here hoping that when the new boss come, maybe he'd be the kind to stand up to Tesker and give the sidewinder a taste of his own rattles. I told him it wasn't no use to wait, but Mississippi here had a hunch that maybe things had changed when the new boss come. Thanks for the hunch, cowboy. It's a little early for the showdown, but looks like you're forcing my hand. You see this gun? It belonged to my father before he was killed. That was 15 years ago. My name's Rogers, not Reynolds. Let me tell you about it. Ride side by side, get in the fight and ride each wrong. Ride far and wide, let a friendly neighbors hear our song. We'll help to help the ones who need us And make oppressors fear and heed us It's one for all, all for one And we won't stop until the job is done Wipe out the curse Use your spurs, come on and ride, ride, ride Ride side by side, get in the fight And ride each wrong I told you men to put a stop to this. I'm running this outfit. For 15 years, my word's been the law in Death Valley, and that's the way it's got to go on. You hear me? Well, you can count on us. Count on you? That's what I've been doing. Up to now, the ranchers in this valley have been like so many sheep. Well, we'll make them be like sheep again. Maybe you better try to do that, Jerry. I guess every man in this room knows where we're heading if we don't win out. Well, I ain't never been hung, but... Say, I don't think I'd like that. Things like this don't just happen. Somebody makes them happen. They got a leader, I know that. So do I. Find out who he is. I'm aiming to. That's what you said yesterday. Well, I'm saying it again. Until we find out who it is, there's only one way to put a stop to this nonsense. Teach little old Death Valley it needs protection. That's your job, Jerry. Beginning now? Beginning now. Come on, boys.
Martin's my line, and I like it. But I don't like picking on women and old folks. Well, it ain't a question of what we like no more. Old man Meredith's no different from anybody else. He's got to be taught his lesson. I've been taking orders from you a long time, Uncle Ed. I'm still taking them. That's all I want to hear you say, Jerry. When the job's through, right into town. There's something I must tell you. Something I did today. Maybe I was wrong. Quarreled with Roy? Roy? What does he matter? It matters a heap to you. More than you'll admit to him or to yourself. No, I don't care about him. I hate him. Son, you hurt? No, I'm all right. I don't know. I, 
I can't... Death Valley is no place for a girl anymore. Sell out, honey. Get away. Dr. Ward! Dr. Ward! I'm uneasy feeling, Roy. As if something was bound to happen. Yes, and I got a feeling this is the last payment Tasker's gonna get from me. What do you mean? Just a feeling. Now, if you'll excuse me, son, I'm going over and get me a great big drink of sarsaparilla. I want to take the skunk taste out of my mouth. I don't scare easy, Uncle Ed. You know that. But I think we ought to ease up for a while. Yeah, I've got the same notion. Yeah? Well, I got a different notion. I think about one more lesson, so all these cow farmers will need. Just as you say, Uncle Ed. Howdy, folks. Hi, Reynolds. You know Brace? This is my nephew, Jerry. I think we've met once before. I reckon you're wrong there, partner. I don't forget faces very easy. <clears throat> well, I guess you came on business, eh, Reynolds? Yes. I think you'll find it all there. There's your receipt. Had her all made out and ready for you. Reynolds is smart. Never been a day late. I learned my lesson early. Too bad other people can't profit by your good sense. Well, I reckon I better be getting along. Goodbye, mister. Goodbye. See you next month, eh, Reynolds? You might be seeing me sooner than that. I, uh, think I need a drink. Say, that was sure peculiar. Why? The way those two owled at each other. Ah, uh, quit getting notions. I've been a fool. What do you mean this time? Reynolds has been here for six months. We never had any trouble till he got here. Well, you don't think he organized the riders, do you? Get Jerry. Tell him I want every man he can find here tonight by 9 o'clock. And tell Bill to close the bar early. We'll meet him there. Howdy, Miss Ann. Hello, Bart. Is Roy at home? Well, he is, and he ain't. He went poking off down that way a minute ago. Thanks. Will you take care of my horse? Sure will. Gladly, Miss Ann. Digging through the knot hole in Big Joe's wooden leg. Who'll milk the cows when I am gone? Peeking through the knot hole in Big Joe's wooden leg. Who milked the cows when I am gone? Who cut the knees out of Grandpa's BVDs? What are BVDs, Roy? Oh, and you wouldn't understand. It's just something us men folks wear. <laughs> Roy Rogers. Little Ann. I was thinking about you. I've been thinking about you, too, Roy. I recognized you the night our ranch was raided. I came to tell you that I know about you and the riders. I couldn't tell you. We promised not to say anything. Excuse me, folks, for butting in. What's the trouble? Trouble ain't no name for it. I just seen the hull darn Coxie's army, and there was more of them coming when I left. Well, who were they? Tasker's men. 
They're regimenting for trouble. I've heard tell Tasker's gonna meet him down his saloon tonight. Saddle my horse, Gabby. I'll see you later, little lamb. Where are you going, Roy? Oh, I'll be back. Take me with you? Nope, you'll have to wait. Boys, Gabby, all of them, and wait for me in Silver Canyon. Yeah, we'll wait, but you won't be there. If you got to commit suicide, do it painless. Don't give Tasker the satisfaction of killing you. Don't worry about me. I'll be there. Time's Roy meeting us. He ain't. Well, what are we supposed to do? Roy told us to be here, and here we are. Anyway, he's planning to visit Tasker first. Tasker? The young fool? Why didn't he tell us? Oh, I don't know. Anyhow, we'll pick him up right pretty soon, Ru. I know, boss. Running off a bunch of steers or burning up a barn or two is not so bad. But when it comes to blowing up that sundown dam... That's going too far. Anybody else got any objections? I seen a star fall in the west tonight as we was riding in. What are you talking about? And at the same time, I seen an owl fly across the new moon. Oh. Them's mighty bad signs. I've shot a lot of folks in my day, so I ain't a kicking when it comes my time to get shot. You talk like a fool. I am. Always have been. Now, the only water in Death Valley that I don't own is what's behind Sundown Dam, and I don't want that water there tomorrow morning. What'll the folks here in town do for water? I'm keeping company with a mighty pretty woman here in Sundown. I'd sure hate to think of her going thirsty. There's plenty of water. All the town has to do is to hook onto my eastern reservoir. And I can do that before noon tomorrow. And pay twice as much as they're paying now. You're smart, Uncle Ed. That all? No. I know who's gonna end the trouble in Death Valley. Yeah, and I know who started all the trouble. You know who got the riders together? Roy Reynolds, the new owner of the Circle R. Now, when you finish that work at the dam, I want you to ride to the Circle R. It's about time Mr. Reynolds met with an accident. And I don't want much left on that ranch when he gets through. I thought Mr. Reynolds was a friend of the outfit. Guess I was wrong about it. Yeah, you were wrong. Just do what I tell you. Just as you say, Uncle Ed. Rex, you used to be a miner. You ought to know how to handle blasting powder. I reckon I know about all there is to know about it. Now go ahead, Potter. Take Foster and Blake with you. We'll cover the trail to see that you're not interfered with. I shoot better when I've had a shot. What do you say we have a drink all around? Sure, boss. Uh, sort of celebrate our victory in Mexico. Uh, wish I'd led me a good life. I'll get a bottle.
got to go. Let's go. Look, Roy said to stay here and buy cracky where he's staying. catch him now on these rocks. You know who that is, don't you? Reynolds. It's either him or us. After what he heard back there, he'll head for the dam. So are we. Come on. It's him. Hey, cut out that whistling. Huh. Sounds like he's commencing to believe in bad signs himself. What do you mean with this fool talk about owls and fallen stars? Death signs, them is. Never seen it to fail. Keep your eyes open up there. Can't you hurry that up? I want to get out of here. Too late to hurry now, maybe. Yeah. There's somebody riding our way. Let's get. Took out a minute for a good breath. That dam's on her way up. When we heard you coming, we thought you were them riders. You're turning yellow, Foster? She's about ready. Where's the firecrackers? Here. outnumbered. We're done for. Ooh, whoa! 
Doggone gun's getting hot. Use of my Lula Bell going thirsty. Let's get out of here. What about the others? Let them manage. Come on. Just as you say, Uncle Ed. against a rainy day. Our pile against a rainy day. I'd like to introduce a fellow, Mr. Tasker. Me, Roy Rogers. You always introduce yourself with a six-gun? You ought to remember that name. My father's name was Roy Rogers. He owned the Circle R up until the day he was killed. Yeah, I remember. I suppose you've come here to get even. I came here to bring you to justice. Well, I'd like to introduce a fella, your brother, Tim Rogers. You remember him? I remember. Is what you just said true, Uncle Ed? Why don't you shoot, Rogers? I asked you a question, Uncle Ed. Shut up. The payoff is you're helping me to get out of here. For a long time, I've been wondering. Seems like sometimes I can almost remember things. Now, wait a minute. You taught me to always get the drop on a guy, Uncle Ed. Now, how do you like it? Stop it, Jerry. Don't do it. Reach for your gun, Mr. Tasker. I do remember. Tim, is it all right, fella? I didn't fail, but I reckon I know now why you turned me loose that day. And I know why you didn't turn me over to Tesk. It's been a long time, Roy. Too long, Tim. Awful long time. Tim. Hello, Roy. I took my life in a saddle. I have earned a cowboy's pay in the blistering heat, certain weary feet, till the blue skies turn to gray. The dust has taken my cattle. Gone are the herds. I've sold my saddle for an old guitar. I'll ride the range no more. Gone are the days when the buffalo grazed. Gone is the old frontier. There's nothing left but a cowboy song of all that I hold. So dear, so I said goodbye to my friend. Oh, quit trying to make a fool out of me, Miss Minnie. But marriage is so beautiful, Gabby. Leave me be, will you? Darn persnickety women. 
I'll run. 